Hello, this is Oli, the developer of Drawingbot V3. In this video, we're going to look at a new pathfinding module, which is called ECS Drawing. So this pathfinding module is made up of three components. Um, so the ECS stands for Edge, Contour, and Shading. Um, and with the combination of these three elements, we can create some really interesting results. So I'm going to just run it with default settings. And we're already getting some interesting results with this image. Um, as you can see, this Pathfinder module is quite stylized and really exaggerates the edges in the image more than anything. Um, and it also adds these areas of shading um, where the original image is dark. So it's combining these three layers of edges, contours and shading to create um, a really cool stylized result. Um, so to start improving um, this um, output, um, I like to disable shading and contours. This means I can just focus on the edges um, and it's good to build it up this way to see what each of the individual components is doing. So on the edges we can of course enable and disable them by hitting draw edges so that will draw nothing out or we can enable them. Um, and of course you could just um, uh, plot this or draw this. You don't have to enable all of the elements so this essentially allows for some basic uh, uh, edge drawing um, if you'd like to do that instead. Um, but for now let's see what we can do to improve these edges and then add back in our contours and shading. So we can control the initial blur of the edges. So this is a blur which is applied to the image before we detect the edges. So if we decrease it we're going to use a more detailed image to detect the edges from. And as you can see it starts to get very messy. Um, so 15 is actually normally quite a nice medium ground. Um, we can increase it further, um, which is going to decrease the quality of our edges and also uh, decrease the number that are detected. Again, I think 15 is a good place to be for this. Uh, next, we have edge detail. Um, this is controlling the amount of edges that will be drawn. If we decrease it, um, we're only going to show the really dominant edges. If we increase it all the way, we're going to draw all of the edges we can. Um, again, there's a nice kind of middle ground somewhere in here which looks quite good, I'd say some, somewhere around there. Um, next we have the simplify control. Um, so this is to actually remove vertices from uh, the detected lines. So if we put it all the way to 100, we can see that the edges are much more simple and um, they're, they're curving in these kind of different ways. Um, if I drop it again, you can see before I increased simplify, we had 69,000 vertices. After I've increased it, we have 45,000. Um, and again, this is kind of, you want to get to a point where visually you can't really tell you're simplifying it. Um, so you're just reducing the plotting time, but you don't want any artifacts. So if I go back to, you can start to see as soon as artifacts start to introduce. So I can see here, there's this kind of interesting curve going on. If I decrease it a little bit, it disappears. So around here looks quite good um, for our simplify. Um, next we have distortion. This just adds a little bit of noise to um, the um, lines. So if we increase it a lot, we're going to get a much messier um, edge detection. Um, I think having just a little bit of noise is nice because it prevents it feeling a bit too machine-like. So somewhere in there is quite nice. Um, so that's the edge portion. Now we can move on to the contours. So I'll disable the edges for now and I'll enable contours. At the moment our contours aren't drawing that much. So what we'll do is decrease the contour blur. This works similarly to edge blur. It is blurring the image before the contours are used to detect it. At 15 we're at the same value as the edges. We can go lower um, and we'll get even more contours. And then again once you get really low you get loads and loads of very small details. Um, in a way, this kind of controls the smallest, um, the, the size of the contours. You could think about it in that way. Um, so somewhere, let's, we'll try somewhere in there. We'll have to see how it looks with the edges as well. Um, again, we've got uh, contour detail, which is controlling how many contours to draw at this size. Um, again, we can kind of fine tune where we want it. Um, if you increase the blur just to show you and have loads of contours being drawn, you can get some really cool uh, patterns and shapes um, happening. Um, so don't think just because it 
with the detail low blur wants to be always low sometimes a high blur it's going to give you something really cool um like some some somewhere in here around here looks good so that's our contours we can now layer our edges and contours on top of each other and we get something like this i think possibly we have a bit too much detail in edges and contours so we could drop our contours a little bit and drop our edges a little bit um i think the contour blur can also still come down a little bit and again i'm going to reduce the detail just a little bit more but let's see our edges are still looking good and our contours are just adding that extra little bit of detail let's see if i zoom in you can see that the contours are adding these little sections in the windows because it is is drawing the gradients between um, which go in between edges um, so the light to dark sections the contours are picking up those where the edges don't um, so now we also can control the simplify and distortion of our contours um, again we disable edges just to see it a bit better um, so let's increase the simplify to a point where we don't really see much artifacts. Let's go wider again. So there's some kind of artifacts going on at the top here. So here it's quite jagged. If I increase it a bit, it starts to separate out. But around there is quite nice. Um, but you don't have to include the simplify at all. Um, we could instead add a little bit of distortion just messing up the lines just a little bit to make it a bit more human like um, and now if we add back in our edges this is looking quite interesting um, and now finally we can add our shading so if I hit um, draw shading now we're adding in the rest of the detail that we need which is the dark information um, and this is a really cool result um, which we could then plot um, we can still tweak the shading even more we have shading accuracy if i put this really high um, it's going to be drawing right in the little gaps between the edges and contours if i um, lower it we're getting this more sketchy style and the shading is not as accurate um, but this looks more stylized again i think there's a nice middle ground maybe somewhere in here is nice um, again we can control the detail this is the amount of shading that will see um, if we increase it massively we're going to get loads of shading but we want it somewhere just giving it enough definition so that we can t uh, tell um, wh what we're looking at um, we can also control the length of the shading increasing this we're going to get uh, longer lines you can see it's kind of cutting across more I think lower generally works better because you get a bit more detail around there looks quite good I hope that was useful. Um, in the next video, I'm going to look at the sketch sweeping curves pathfinding module.